This lesson is a kindergarten lesson and it's called Movement and Tempo. And in this lesson, the students will look at art and they will um, talk about how even though art typically is not moving, it can still appear and feel like it has movement and rhythm and tempo. So they're gonna have identified um, different music types that might fit different art pieces and then they're going to do it on their own so what they're going to do for this one is you're going to have they're each going to have two pieces of cardstock or construction paper they are going to be water coloring so i recommend a thicker paper and they're going to start by listening to two different tempos of song um, the first one that they're going to listen to is flight of the bumblebee and then the second one that they're going to listen to is um, carnival of animals the swan so the bumblebee one being um, a very fast tempo and the swan being a very slow tempo. And so what they're gonna do is they're gonna just select a color of crayon, whichever color they choose, and they're gonna listen to a clip of the music and then they're gonna draw lines and patterns that they think fit with that tempo of music. So I'll just give you an example um, of how that's going to work. So what I'm gonna do first is I will play um, a clip of the flight of the bumblebee and they can just draw however they think it goes best with the song and you can choose like you probably don't need to play um, I think the whole you know the song's like a, a minute or two long you can probably just play 30 seconds or 20 seconds depending on what you think that they they need to fill their paper so it would just be something like this So their flight of the bumblebee might look something like that, kind of messy and lots of quick moving um, patterns. And then after that, you would play for them the carnival of the animals and they can use the same color crayon or they can choose a different color. And then they would do the same thing for this one. So however they want to draw it, theirs might look completely different from this. It's really a matter of how, what they hear and how they think it would be visually represented. So it might look really different and that's okay because it's totally up to them and what they, they feel like it would look like. Um, and then after they do that with the crayon, they're just going to add watercolor. They're going to fill in all these little spots and just however they want and they can Think about maybe colors that they think best fit the one that's fast or slow, but they may just do them both, all sorts of colors. Um, one thing I do like to do for the kindergarten is I do like to take out black and brown. Um, these are the trays I have right now, these ones I've used, but I like to just pop out the black and the brown just like this. They've been used recently, so they're wet. So, um, but when they're dry, you can just pop them out. And I just like to give them the colors because they just have a tendency to um, be messy with the black and brown. They kind of don't know how to use it um, and not let it ruin all of their other colors. So it's that's totally up to you. So now they would they would just paint however they want to paint their um, their fast tempo and slow tempoed painting.
So when they're done, they'll have two separate pieces and one of them should, as far as they tell, as they think, one of them should feel like slower and one of them should feel faster. So I painted my slower one a little bit more in the lines and my faster one a little bit more messy because that's just how I interpreted it. They're gonna interpret it a little bit differently um, and that's fine. And then what I like to do for these is I like to, um, when it's, they're done, I like to mount them next to each other on one piece of paper so that they can really see the difference in how their paintings look.